break some legs, uh, and I will see. Enter a realm unlike your own. Filled with beauty and splendor. With magic and mystery. With evil and danger. With secrets and glory. Welcome to the world of hazards and hijinks. The cool adventurers! Despite my really calm, serene exterior, I'm a very angry person. If the cool leather boot fits, I'll wear it. I'm a cat person! You can't and judge I'm me! I'm a wizard who drinks Hey, we are who we are. You will know what it is to feel pain. Hey guys, hey, hey guys, we just were upstairs in the gas chamber. Movement detected, destroy intruder, destroy oh, intruder. 
I'm sorry. I was living up to my own hype. <laughs> I feel younger than ever. Huzzah! Huzzah! Hazards and hijinks. D and D improv. Every Friday night on YouTube and Twitch. Hello, 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 and welcome, 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 welcome to the Bindle Variety Show right here on the Fancy Hobo Improv Channel live on YouTube and Twitch. My name is Tony Tarico. I am going to be your host for the evening. Thank you so much for tuning in to tonight's show, everyone. Uh, we really, really appreciate you uh, being here for tonight. Uh, we end every single month with this show, the Bindle Variety Show, featuring art, music, and improv. And if you have never turned tuned into a Bindle Variety Show before, you are in for a treat. That's right. Uh, tonight's show is going to go like this. We have invited uh, guests, uh, guest artists to our show to showcase some of their work, talk about their process. And we are, we've got some fantastic guests in store for you this evening. Um, after uh, we discuss with our guests, we are going to have our ragtag group of improvisers come on in here and they are going to create a long form improv set inspired by everything that they saw and heard tonight. It's an incredible night of art and discussion and creation. So I'm so, so, so happy to have you here with us this evening. Uh, if you've uh, tuned into The Bindle before, thank you so much for coming back to The Bindle. A um, uh, 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 shout out to you. You're awesome. That's right. Um, now, you may notice that we are not performing in a theater tonight. Uh, typically, Fancy Hobo is uh, performs live in venues. What? What kind of concept is that? Um, but we're not, despite my virtual background being what it is. Um, uh, we are performing still all virtually, and our shows are not able to be produced, able to keep coming out without the support of you, our audience. So uh, if you would like to support us, you can head to Venmo and Venmo at Fancy Hobo Improv. Don't forget the improv, because Fancy Hobo is just someone else. Uh, you can send in any donations through our Venmo. Uh, we really, really appreciate it and really appreciate everything that you have donated thus far over the past year that we have been live streaming. We've been doing this for a year, people. My God. Uh, I, but uh, as we quickly approach the return to our stages, um, uh, we are very, very excited to get back into the space with you. Also, if you're tuning in here for the very first time, don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's the best way to support us. Um, uh, whether you're on Twitch or whether on YouTube, uh, we appreciate all of the subscriptions. Don't forget to follow Fancy Hobo Improv on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and Twitch and, and all of these uh, all of these social media program things that, that we're on. Ah, yes, uh, the social medias. Um, well, I think you've heard me ramble on, I think, a little bit long enough. Shall we get to our show? I believe we shall. So uh, before we get to our guest artists for the evening, please welcome the improvisers to the virtual stage. Give it up for Matt Thomas, Jack Floyd, Brandon Burns, and Maddie Thaley. 
Oh my god. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. Uh, so hello. Hello. Welcome everybody. How are you all? I'm doing great. I'm so excited for the show. I'm excited to have you all here. All right. Uh, we didn't bring you in here for no reason. As a matter of fact, we brought you in here to discuss tonight's theme. That's right. Every bindle does have a theme that we like to uh, put everything around, just kind of something to connect everything. And tonight's theme, improvisers, is environment. Environment. Um, and now uh, it's an interesting question for all of you, and I'm really interested to hear all of your answers about this. So um, when I think about environment in, in, in regards to how it relates to my practice as an artist, I mean, uh, I mean, there's so many different types of environments we're talking about, right? You could be talking about like the literal physical environment that you in, which is important as a performing artist. It's incredibly important. It's a partner in your work that you have to do. You have to know the space uh, to be able to kind of inhabit that space, fill that space. Um, but we could also be talking about uh, environments that you're trying to create, that you're trying to simulate in the space. Uh, and, and it could be a conversation of those both things and how they are in conversation with each other. Lots of different ways to take environment, and I'm interested to hear how it relates to all of your practices. So why don't we start off with Mr. Brandon Burns. All right. Um, I think environment is something I've taken more account of, especially recently. Um, I think so much of my beginning work as like a emerging artist was like, oh, I'm embracing the environment of my history. Uh, and I'm looking like, oh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to emulate an emotion, uh, an ideology, an experience, and I have to take from the environment that I experienced that in the past. And I'm trying to recreate uh, an energy and a, an association and trying to manifest a past environment into a present environment, uh, which I think I look at now as being inherently dangerous. Uh, because trying to manifest something that was and something that is, I think inherently puts you in a, in a, a, a vulnerable situation in not a good way. Uh, and I've gotten to the point where I think my work is, as a person, I think I really try to understand the space that I inhabit in the moment uh, both as an individual, but also what, what the space speaks to me in the now, uh, both the people I inhabit with and, you know, is it a space of openness? Is it a space of confinement and how that energy of the space in, uh, bleeds into the work? Uh, mm -hmm. And I think that I think has been way more beneficial and uh, created a, a sense of safety so much more than trying to do justice to what was uh, mm. and trying to take it from the past to the present. Uh, I think it's been much better for my own like self, uh, self-esteem, self-worth, uh, trying to justify the present rather than trying to justify the past. Mm. Nice, interesting. Um, uh, Jack, what about you? Yeah, when I think of environment, uh, if I'm specifically, thinking about improv that is a, a skill almost as part of an, an improviser is constructing an environment that isn't truly present so there's the literal environment of the stage like where you the player are in but there's also the uh, imagined environment of your character of like mars or a submarine or or a car alarm. A car uh, somewhere, like a, a, someone stealing a car in a parking lot. Yeah, wherever you are. <laughs> and um, I feel that as much as you can, mentally putting yourself in that environment, like trying to see the, the reflection of the rainwater on the pavement or trying to like smell it or trying to, or maybe like in terms of a movie, like see it cinematography um helps you engage in the scene as a whole like find your character and find how you're feeling and it's really interesting how our outs our environment whether like real or imagined like affects us internally mm. um so that's what i think of when i think of environment 
Very, very nice. Um, Maddie. Hey y'all. Um, yeah, thinking about environment, I I have noticed recently that there's um that my environment of being cooped up in my room and doing improv just in my room um is having an effect like on my body and how um how tuned in I can be to my body and how much I am able to use my body like in improvising and embodying a character. Um, and I'm really excited for when we are finally, I don't know when that will be, but when we're finally on stage and we can uh, be in the same room together and create together because I I can't wait to be able to just finally feel like, oh, I, I'm, actu I'm actually here, you know, and I have like full range of motion um, of my body. And I think that there definitely is going to be an adjustment period where I'm like, oh wait, okay, hi, what? Like I'm actually, mm -hmm. I'm actually here. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking about right now. Um, and just really looking forward to being in the same room as you guys. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, I can't wait for it. I have a theory. Either we're gonna have like, we go back to space, performing artists are gonna like, have no idea what to do with their body. They're just gonna pretend like they're still in Zoom rooms. So like the top half of them will be like moving like crazy, but like there will be no movement in their legs or everything will just be like out of whack, just like moving for no reason. Um, uh, we'll see, we'll, we will see when we return to the live space. Uh, Matt, what about you? Uh, you know, uh, for me, environment, uh, especially from like a performance uh, standpoint is uh, it's another, uh, it's like another teammate in a way. Uh, there's kind of this uh, philosophy. I didn't make it up. Uh, I've heard it and I agree with it a lot of like when you're on a uh, like an improv team and if a member isn't there that night or if, uh, maybe a new person's added to the team, whatever, uh, you essentially have like a new improv team because uh, each person brings their whole life experiences uh, into their art. So uh what they bring is completely unique and you can't get it from anyone else. Um, and so I bring that philosophy too with like the environment, uh, which is like, if you're performing uh, in a, in a theater that has a set, you know, I, I want to use that. I want to include it. I want to make it part of this show to make this show unique. Uh, and here in the virtual space, I mean, obviously virtual backgrounds right now, you know, or, or, or using like filters or whatever, just using things that, uh, that you have that on the spot, Mac. <laughs> <laughs> I just You're clicked just... on one. Uh, Great. But yeah, like, but just having that, uh, having that at the ready, like utilizing the space, utilizing what you have, because uh, I don't think anyone's going to come on here and argue that uh, Zoom improv is better than real in-person improv. But since we're here, let's, you know, I want to make the most of it. I want to use everything Zoom has to offer that I won't be able to use in a show. <laughs> 